Okay, student, to sum up what we have learned today, the various, we learned about the various parts of a typical plant. So first of all, let us recall what are the various parts. We will start from the outer world, which is the sepal. And the second world is the petals. And the third world, which is made up of the anther and the filament. Okay, and these two parts are the statement, which is the male reproductive organs of the flower. And on the other hand, the last world, the fourth world, is the female reproductive organ, which is made up of the stigma, style, and the ovary. And within the ovary, you have ovules. And these are the future seeds. Okay, and this is the part which we call receptacles. And this is the flower stalk which we call pedicel. Okay, now so these are the basic parts of the flowers. Hi students, assuming that we have plant A and plant B, okay, both are not connected in any way, okay, and this pink structure represent the, uh, represent the carpel, and the orange structure represent the stamen. Okay, now so uh, we learn about pollination. The process of pollination is the transfer of pollen grain, okay, from the anther to the stigma. Okay, now which is illustrated here. It can be to the same flower or to different flower. Okay, so it's transferred from enter to the stigma. All right, now, so let us take a closer look what is the difference between self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination is as what is illustrated in plant A, where the pollen grains are transferred within the same plant, or it could be between different flowers on the same plant. Whereas cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen grain from one flower of plant, for example, in this case, plant B, to the stigma of plant A. Okay, or it could be from the, the pollen grain from flowers of plant A transferred to the stigma of plant B. Okay, now, so this is the difference between self and cross pollination. Now there are some food for thoughts, okay, which you can, these are extension questions, which you can go into the quiz, okay, and try it out and maybe write out your response. Alright, does sexual reproduction always involve two parents? Why do pollen grains have different features? Does self-fertilization give rise to identical offspring with no genetic variation? Is self-fertilization the same, same as asexual reproduction? Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.